Hi everybody and welcome to um, the Pure Energy Healing Academy. This video is all about um, a certain crystal that will help with um, uh, targeting certain issues within the body and around the body. Two ways, emotional <clears throat> and physical as well, it's fantastic. So, um, say hello to um, a beautiful pointer. They call them pointers because it's got the point. This crystal is um, clear quartz but it has uh, a little bit of citrine in there. I just thought it was very lovely. Now, see how the end is really nicely shaped, perfect for your hand, your palm to go in there and for you to grab. <clears throat> Energy that flows through you comes down and then goes into the point and thus you can work on certain things. Um, say hello to uh, a very special tool um, that was given to me by a beautiful soul. That's um, uh, Lemurian quartz, um, the shamans in um, in Native American India, um, in America, they, they use this particular crystal. Um, I don't think you can see it, but it doesn't matter how this crystal is cut, it will always have a, serrat a serrated edge the opposite direction. That's what makes this uh, Lemurian quartz, again, uh, very special, very unique. Again, you would hold it like this, and the energy would pour through to the tip of the point. Okay, so, <clears throat> uh, why do I like um, clear quartz? I like clear quartz because it gives me the feeling that I'm gonna get a clear energy running straight through, no interference, um, so the crystal itself is very pure and very honest in its uh, energy. Uh, it, it, it doesn't interfere in any way, so whatever you give this crystal, it be it's beautiful, it just pours straight through. So, uh, how do I know this? Well, I only know it through experience. So, you know, at first when I started, it's really funny. When I first started this, I used to think, what on earth am I doing? You know, is this really working? Because you do, your mind kicks in. When you clear all that and you realize, wow, actually something is happening, something is working. It's just profound, it really is. And it's not always that you feel that, but when you do, it's like, oh, you want to feel it every day. You, you want to experience that. but. It's not always like that. It's just sometimes you just get this blast of energy. So let's take, for instance, one of my first clients, a beautiful soul, Trini. She came to me um, again. She she just lay down on my bed, a healing bed, and uh, I took this, placed it in my hand, and started working on uh, her skin, her body, all over. Um, after three... Um, sessions she came once I think every month after three sessions she actually went on to um, on to um, a program that was done um, all about the work that I was doing and she said on screen I didn't even know because I don't ever ask my clients anything I just do the work and they go and uh, what she said was she goes to the hospital every year and each year she goes she has to have certain um, little black uh, moles removed because in case they become cancerous. And she said for the first year in seven years uh, after coming to have these healing sessions with this, she, uh, they said there's nothing to remove this time, everything looks fine. Um, there's lots of other um, things that have happened where I've worked on a, a certain client on their skin and something like they could have a red mark and I just work on it and sometimes it just phew, disappears. It's amazing. So, um, yeah, what were I talking about? I was talking about uh, the pointers. I think the pointers are fantastic, not just only for um, um, the physical body and, and watching a, a manifestation of pure uh, healing taking place, but um, also they're fantastic for, as the shamans would use, for opening. Opening, clearing, cleansing. So often I would use this on what, what is named as, or called the chakras. If you don't know what they are, there's certain points on the body that the ancients, the, the, the mystics believe are the points that when you clear and open them, you see more, feel more and, and so on. I don't really go into the chakras too much, but I do go where I felt I should go. So I close my eyes and feel that energy and work around the body. So um, people do talk about this being the third eye. It's a very interesting point. Some shamans believe it's round here and some believe it's here. I don't care. What I do is I work around 
this part around here and whether I'm moving one direction or another doesn't really matter. I just work and try and cleanse and clear. It makes a massive difference. Sometimes you can open that and, and you become more aware of everything. You become more heightened to, to the signs, <laughs> to what you feel and all this new information coming in. You can uh, awaken what's called the crown chakra above here, just at the top. Um, you can help that and you can awaken that. That again is information absorbed. Plus, you can release a lot of negative energy as well. Everything that you open be means that things can come in and go out, which is a great thing. My, I have a real strong belief about this. Being open all the time is a wonderful thing when you're working in the presence of um, a higher dimension, a higher vibration, um, whether you believe it's spirit, your family, or friends, or guys, doesn't matter to me. But when you're open to that, it means that nothing in your mind stays. It means that you are allow it, you allow it to flow in and out, which means that you receive and you let go, which is a good thing. If we can put that into practice on a daily basis, to be open and not to keep things stuck inside us, then then we're always receiving healing all the time, constantly. I mean, why is it that we should hold on to things? Because when we do, it only stops us from receiving anything. Therefore, if you're open, you allow the flow to come in and out all day long. And I think that's quite a beautiful thing. And that's what I try to do. And I'm, I'm sure you've heard it before. Be open. <laughs> There's a reason for that. There's, it's not be open, but be open to whatever comes. Accept everything as it should be every day. Go with it, but let it go. So, you know, I feel good. Okay, be open. Let more come in. Let it all just, okay, I don't feel so good. Well, be open and let it just flow out. So there's a reason for that. So this was this meant to be about crystals? <laughs> okay, let's, let's make this video be open. I suppose the moral of today's story is there are, there's more to life than going to hospital all the time. There are beautiful alternative practitioners out there who can help because they see beyond what we have lost, the, the ability to see. And at times when we feel down and sad, we become so um, fearful of our life and what to do. We sometimes rush very easily to the doctors and for tablets when, you know, I think if you become open, you allow that energy to flow out of you much quicker. So you don't need to run there. So you can go for a walk and sit down. You don't have to meditate under a tree for 18 years like the Buddha did, but you can just sit there and just be at peace. Be, just be. And allow your body to cleanse and clear in Mother Nature. Eat vegetables, drink healthy, stay away from sugar, look after your body temple. These are the things that keep illness away, away, keeps it at bay. So, um, hey guys, I, I don't know what this video is about now, but it may strike a chord with you. And from my heart to yours, have a great day from the Pure Energy Healing Academy. It's always lovely to share a little message with you and just to help you along your journey as it, it helped me along my journey. So I think we should all share knowledge especially the knowledge that has been um, a personal experience rather than read from books and then share that information. I always think sharing your own information is normally a more powerful thing. So today, share your knowledge with your friends if you know it's done you the world of good. That's how we help heal the world. Have a great day. Love you all. Take care. Thank you for subscribing to mattbyeski.com.